Welcome back to another episode of Inspired Chats. It's been a while since it's just been myself in front of the camera. We've had guests on the Inspired Chats series the last few months. That's been great, going down a bit of memory lane, finding out what people have been doing these days. Uh, in this episode, we're just going to talk about what's happening uh, at the moment and what events are coming, what we're doing, etc. what trucks are getting built, and yeah, pretty much the know-how of all the mini truck and goodness. So before I begin, I'm gonna mention two companies that always support us is Ride Till Dead, which is what I'm wearing right now. Great company, great people, all about all the shenanigans and just having the good vibe. So head on over to their website and buy some merch. And something a bit different is a podcast. Uh, myself got on a gutter to gutter podcast a few months ago, talking about pretty much the history of Inspired Existence and my Triton build. So head on over to Gutter to Gutter podcast. They are on Spotify and they're on Facebook. They've got a whole bunch of people. Just recently they had Graham Brewer from Downtown Customs uh, talk about the history of downtown himself and pretty much where he went from day dot to where he is now. Uh, that is a great listen, that one. They also had Scotty Barter from Oxitech. Be sure to listen to that one. Uh, they had Jasmine on there talking about her build and just all around good vibes throughout the whole podcast. It's a, it's a great podcast to listen to. It's always enjoyable and there's always some great stories on that. So head on over and check that out. So what trucks are getting built? My housemate, Russell, which you saw in an episode of Inspired Chats, where we talked about his Hilux and where he is uh, in his build with his GMC. He's been getting in the shed and pretty much working on that day in, day out. So hopefully that's gonna be in primer and all together soon and hopefully running. Uh, we'll see about that. Luke Ellis is rebuilding uh, SUV Low with Toyota Surf. It's got billets and everything, it's body dropped, it's starting to get a bit of work. Uh, that truck has been around for a very long time and it's gonna be good to see that back on the road. Another truck that's been around for a long time is Low 24-7, Jack Merritt. Uh, he's got a Navara. He recently just repainted that uh, for the Cruise of the Pines that was on a couple weeks ago. If you haven't already looked at that, go to the Cruise of the Pines Facebook. Uh, there's photos and there's videos up of that event. That event just happened a couple weeks ago and good mixture of cars there, there's a variety of uh, low riders, mini trucks, custom, street machines, the whole deal. Uh, Jack repainted that uh, with all new stripes and everything on it. Put some new NC logos because that's his club um, and it's looking bloody killer. Absolutely love it. So we recently put a post up saying what are you building? Uh, we want to know. We had someone post on the Facebook uh, not too long ago. Adam Mason, he has a 79 F100. Looks like it's bagged in the rear and it's all in bare metal. This thing's sick. Always got a soft spot for F100s. Uh, I wish more people would build more F100s and C10s, that sort of era. They're all fucking sick. And also on that post we had Arthur Hode. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Don't question me. Uh, Arthur Hode, he's got an old, looks like an old Hilux with a big service body on the back. Some old school rims on it. This, this thing's gonna be cool. And yet again, another build that's broke the internet is Zach Cable with his Ford Ranger, the Barrett powered Ford. Uh, he now runs Julie Wheels, just to spice it up a bit. Every time we post or he posts something about that truck, it goes viral. So that thing's gonna be wicked when it's done. Can't wait to see that. Uh, what is coming up? East Coast Cruise is back on. This year is gonna be a big one for East Coast Cruise since we didn't have it last year. And the year before that, it was massive. So hopefully this year, it's gonna bring back all those trucks that were getting built last year. They're now gonna come out of the woodworks and go to that event. It's a Friday to Monday event. Uh, always a great event. Always a good time there. Rusty's River Run is coming up April 14th. That is a new show that's come out this year. That's just a pretty much a small sad day to bring all the car community together from mini trucks to customs to low riders to the, the general street machine. That show is what you need to get to. Uh, that is April 14th and shirts are on pre-sale right now. So head on over to R Rusty's River Run, the event, and buy some merch because any bit of merch is going to help us out with uh, getting that show up and running. We are sponsoring it this year. Um, we're going to be doing filming and photographing the whole day and the whole weekend actually because there's going to be a few things going on here on the sidelines, uh, which we're going to film. Uh, we've got a new vlog that's going to be coming out that's going to showcase that whole event. So from pretty much organising it, setting up down the road and everything. Uh, we are building dirt jumps at the house, which is something a bit different. Uh, we've got the wagon build, we've got his GMC, uh, Russell's GMC build. 
it's all happening over the next few weeks. So it's going to be pretty, pretty full on in the next four to five weeks. That's going to be a good event. So everyone should come out for that. Um, I'll put the links down the bottom so you can get all the info for that. So we're going to end that episode right now. Uh, hopefully this gave you some insight of what's happening and what things are around at the moment. Uh, till next time, hopefully we're going to get some more guests on and keep on trucking.